everyone, Tippa here. Today we are leaving Hagen's and we are driving through Dalpik, going north to check out the fjords, um, up through Olaf's Fjordjur, I'll put that on the screen, Sigalu Fjordjur, down around and coming back on 82, which is not an F-Row, but it is not paved, and then back into Akuri. So as we leave Hagen's and the lovely Hagen's Hot Pots, we were told by a lovely lady that we met by the name of Anka to watch out for the creepy tunnels. There are three tunnels going north, two are one lane, and anyone driving north must give way to everyone driving south. Another thing to know about these tunnels is you cannot speed. There are red light cameras in the tunnel, so be sure you know what the speed is before entering. As you can see this is definitely creepy tunnel number one and you can see there are pull-offs over to the right hand side for when you see headlights coming towards you you just need to veer off and wait for them to pass um, everybody does seem very cordial but when you get a line of cars like us we ended up having four four cars just fit in that pull-off And I do believe the length of this tunnel is two miles. So it is pretty far to be a one lane tunnel. So you just kind of have to really um, prepare, check for headlights and, and pull over even if you think they're far. So we stopped in Olaf's Fjordjur, I know I'm not saying that right, <laughs> but we decided to get out and walk because it is such a beautiful town, very walkable, and we did find in the library um, there is tons of tourism info, maps, books, everything you want is right in the library in the town. And the best part, all the info is free and ready for pickup.
did stop and decide to have lunch and I can honestly say I can't remember the name of the place but it's the bright red building by the water and it was one of the best pizzas I've ever had. Now we're on our way into the second creepy tunnel. This is definitely also a one lane road that you do have to give way to those coming south. Luckily, this one is only about a mile long. And yes, this was us not realizing how close the car was to the pull off and we definitely were blocking the road. And at the end of this tunnel, there is a fantastic view. It's so beautiful. Luckily, there is a pull off where you can stop and take all the pictures you want. This is our cameraman, George. 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 I'm Mark. Mark George. MG. George. And around the next corner is where we were finally scared to death by some sheep in the road, and they did not care. They just looked at us like we were the problem. way into the third tunnel which thank goodness is a two-lane road but this one most definitely has red light cameras we know that for sure because we were flashed by them luckily we were only doing about four miles per hour over the speed limit uh, so i'm guessing and assuming since we have not heard from the rental company um, that there is a little bit of leeway there but do not count on that And you'll see here just on the right that little blue sign that is the camera sign and this is a speed limit sign pretty common around the country it gives you a sad face to let you know how disappointed it is that you're speeding did get on 82 um, the part that was gravel road this was one of the most peaceful drives it was so beautiful we could have just stayed here all day and taken picture after picture So 
driving back into Accuri, there was a big ship at port that day. We saw a steamy little stream, so I just had to stop and check it out. MG here is at the coffee coop. The coop? Uh, happy Pampered Cows and the food. There's the Happy Pampered Cows. So we're going in. It's upstairs. It's upstairs. Oh, coffee coop. <laughs> 11 to 5. It's past 5. We missed it. We won't be able to come back. So, no, coffee no. coop, 11 to 5. Cafe coup, but you can eat with the cows here. They're very, very little. And there's lots and lots of cows. They're adorable. Well, that one's really cute. So I was so sad I missed coffee too. I really wanted to eat with the cows. We went into town and decided to eat at Bowton. It was a little pricey, but the food was delicious. And then we got to walk around Accuri, see the church, um, see the shops. Again, the shops have weird hours, so most of the shops close at five. And that's it for day three. Tomorrow we're going to the island of Grimsey. I'll leave that link as soon as it comes up. And thanks so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and I will see you soon.